Good morning. Good morning. This is Dr. Yonette starting a brand new week with you. And this week, I want us to focus on play as we prepare for our play session on Thursday. You have to have to be there with baby Thursday morning at seven. I am going to do a play session with you. So be there. So I know that there's a lot of excitement building in your house. Your baby now perhaps two to three months old is starting and staying awake for longer periods. If your baby's around two months old, he or she seems to be happy to see you. He is engaging with your facial expressions and he appears so happy. You will see that little AJ or Dominique or Mary or even Jane's personality is beginning to emerge. What else are you noticing? What else are you noticing about your baby? Your baby may have discovered his fingers or his hands and now he's placing them in his mouth. He's holding his hands open and grabbing objects. He doesn't know yet how to let go, but he's grabbing onto them. So look to see if your baby is also clasping his hands together or her hands together. So baby is also becoming less his movements when he moves around or she moves around. The movement is less jerky, you know, like that. And it's more coordinated. He or she is kicking both legs and beginning to, to just look like if he's going to roll over as the trunk is getting stronger and she's able to hold her head up. So let me ask you this, which of you as adults do not like it, or I should say love it when you don't have to go to work and you have free time to play, play, you know, in whatever form it is. So play is so, so important to children and babies. But what is play? Play is really any activity that is done repeatedly that brings enjoyment and pleasure. You know, as occupational therapists, we call play the work or the occupation that children perform. And, you know, based on research, we know that play reinforces growth and the development of those milestones that we have been talking about. Yes like fine motor skills and gross motor skills and cognitive and emotional and the language and sensory and the social skills that we are looking to develop in our babies. So when we are growing up, we used to, when we were growing up, actually, we used to hear people say, um, our teachers or parents, people around us, the adults, say all play, all work, and no play makes Jack a dull boy. But you know what? It doesn't, all work doesn't only make Jack a dull boy. It also makes Jack a delayed boy in those same cognitive areas that I was talking about. So begin, begin, begin to engage your baby in play. Hmm. So you're asking me, how can I do that? I am new to this. I am not quite comfortable with playing with my baby yet. Give me some strategies, some recommendations. What are some things that I can do? Well, here are about five or six um, activities that you can do with your baby to help him engage in play. One, gently clap your baby's hands together. You know, you can clap the hands while you're singing a song to the baby. You know, row, row, row your boat. Gently clap the hands together. Then I also talked previously about stretching and crossing the midline. When you're finished bathing your baby and you're lotioning him or her, you can do some stretches. Stretch the arms above the head. You know, bring the arms and the legs to the midline. Cross them as if you're exercising. Stretch this way stretch that way, you know, and really engage your baby as you're doing that. You can also do that to the legs and make the legs into a rowing, like if he's pedaling a bicycle, 
you know, and sing while you're doing that because music is so, so important. Use a favorite toy, grab a toy and bring it to the baby and have baby focus on the toy, move it around, play with a baby so that he can move his eyes or her eyes around and follow the, the toy or the rattle that you have for him. And I want you to also think about another way of play as making facial expressions to your baby. Blow, <laughs> you know, do funny faces, do happy faces. You know, just engage your baby so that he or she is playing with you. And then talk. Remember, we talk so much about language. Talk to your baby. How are you? How are you today? Tickle him, touch his, his chest, you know, make those sounds. You are so beautiful. You are so handsome. I love you. You know, talk with your baby. And of course, you need to continue your reading. Yesterday, we read a book that is so, so, so um, popular in the baby land. So read to your baby, find appropriate little books and read. And of course, I always talk about that tummy time that you need to give to your baby. So this is Dr. Yonette coming to you this morning. All this week, we're going to talk about um, play because we are preparing for our special play session that's going to happen we're going to have this play session with you moms and dads and the babies on Thursday morning at seven o'clock. So I want you to make sure that you are preparing, inviting your friends, inviting people who, you know, have babies, babies, grandmas and grandpas so that they can also see some of the strategy that they can use with baby when they are babysitting, you know, Play is such fun. It, there's nothing like hearing children's laughter in the yard as they're playing. And there's nothing like seeing children who don't know how to play. So if your baby has um, developmental delays, if your baby is struggling with certain challenges and don't know how to play, you can contact your occupational therapist or speak to your pediatrician so that he or she can refer you to an occupational therapist that will help to show your baby how to engage in play and to do it successfully to the end to the end of developing those milestone skills that we have been talking about repeatedly I am so excited that you have joined me this Sunday morning, and I hope that you have found this discourse very um, fulfilling and beneficial to you as you continue to raise your baby and give him or her the best opportunity for success in life. This is Dr. Yonet wishing you a happy, happy Sunday.